Hello and welcome to a compositing tutorial on After Effects in Cinema 4D. If you would like to follow along, visit my page for footages and source files. Alright, so in this part we're going to try to create the cubes as we said. Alright, let's get started. So, first thing I'm going to create, um, I'm going to create a new scene. Alright, so I can just get back to my previous scene as I want. So I'm just going to go back to my new scene. Uh, I'm going to get back to my previous scene and I'm just going to copy the camera because I need the camera. And uh, let's get back again. I'm just going to put the camera. I'm going to get back to it. Create a... Let's create that cube. It's, it's quite simple actually. So um, here's the cube. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. Cool. And same thing as we did previously. Cloner, we put the cube inside. We have quite um, different um, cubes, <laughs> and um, I don't want linear. I want a grid, and uh, something like that. I want quite. All right, cool. Uh, just put some. Like... Uh, the cube. We just need to make them a bit. Smaller. Now I just not really. Clone. Just have to do that again. I just have to push them a bit away because they need to be a bit back, and you don't want them to be okay. All right. Take it on. All right. Something like that. Beautiful. And the cubes have to be probably a bit bigger. Cool. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to create a material for this cube. So um, I'm just gonna create the same material as we did before. Matter of fact, I can just go to uh, our material and uh, I can just copy this and I can just go back here and I can just paste it. So um, yeah, I can just put it on the cube. Cool, so if we render, we have this thing. So basically, as you can see, we don't have that shininess, that highlight, so to do it, again, we need to fill a cap. And uh, we'll just put a one there, and uh, two. Uh, Beautiful. So you see, now we have it. One thing that we need, we need that, um, as I showed you before, we need that light. You see that light using a plane um, with luminance. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to create it. So I'm going to create a plane and uh, plus X, but then plus Z, and then we're going to push it behind the cubes. All right. Cool. We're just gonna make it like really big because we're gonna cover quite a huge part of it. Beautiful, huge part, and then we're gonna rotate it this way, a bit inversed from the other side, so that we can give some aesthetic and beauty to it. You know, differences. Cool. Now what we need to do is we need to create that luminance so we don't need color, we don't need specular, we just need a luminance. And this is like we're creating a bulb. This is what we're doing. Literally, this is what we're doing. Because I don't need a light. I mean, this is our light now. See that? It's lighting the whole scene as it is. So that's quite cool. Now it would be cool if I could lighten up all these places and to do that, we need to create a light and I'm just going to put one of the guys that be there with a shadow soft maps and inverse square and we just increase this a bit mm -hmm. so we're just gonna create and then um we need one for specular first so i'm just gonna get out and um i want the light to be coming from this way I think we just take off for now. Yep. Just put it this way a bit behind. Cool. Alright, so that we can see the light coming. The specular is just from here. Beautiful. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Is it 
good? I don't think so. Alright. Should be good now. Alright. Um what do we need next? We need a. Uh, now we just need diffuse, I don't want specular. Um we need some shadows and then inverse square. Just a bit just to lighten up this part. I'm just gonna duplicate it. And I'm just gonna put it a bit behind. Just to lighten up the head there. Just wanna lighten up this. Just lighten up. Same thing goes for these guys. I'm just gonna try to light it up. Alright. Cool, I guess. Quite cool. Alright. Let's see now. Alright, this is a bit better. Cool, so um yeah, we are ready to actually render this, but I'm gonna show you guys later how to render. Of course, hold on, let me see on the background. Alright, cool, beautiful. This is just 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 perfect. Um mm, cool. Um if if you want you can just actually go and uh add one behind that is if you want you can just go and try to add one behind I'm not sure but uh yeah just remember no specular because we just need one source of light ah that's even better cool um yeah this is when it comes to creating the the back the back thing all right so um in the next part we're gonna try and see the last things we need to do before we can start um, creating our render passes